Hey guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad and welcome to the Homestead. If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that we have a really big van. It's a uh, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, 170 inch wheelbase, which is the long one, and then the high top. I can stand up inside of it and I'm about 6'3 uh, and not hit my head. And it seats 12 passengers and it's got about six feet of storage space in the back behind the last bench. Perfect for our big family when we went down to Florida had plenty of room to store things it was great the problem is with our house we plan on building a house back behind where our current house is at some point in the future when material costs come back down in the meantime we have not had a garage for any of our cars and it was getting really old uh, in the summer the cars would get super hot in the winter they'd get covered with snow um, in the rain we'd have to run out to the car and jump in the car as fast as we could and get all of our kids seven kids loaded up into it while it was raining it's just a pain in the butt so this year we decided to get a an awning a metal carport awning and this is what we got i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell how big it is our van to the top of the air conditioning unit is just under 10 feet so you can see there's at least another two, maybe three feet of space on top of that. Now I ordered this and I wanted to make sure it had plenty of room underneath for this van. I succeeded in that. I got 10 foot sidewalls. Let me show you guys. Let me come over here maybe. And the sidewalls, so the legs are 10 feet and they go to right up there. If I'm pointing the right spot. Let me turn the camera on. So here's the leg. And right there, you might be able to see a seam. And that's where the leg stops. And then it curves up. So I thought, hey, I need the 10-foot leg because that's where the, the angle is going to start over. And I want to make sure that the top of the van fits underneath there. I didn't realize that I would get an extra foot of elevation up to here before it started angling up to the peak over here that's the downside of buying a carport on facebook marketplace and talk i mean i talked to a guy but he obviously didn't tell me hey you know you could probably get away with a nine foot or even an eight foot and still have enough space all's well and good we've got plenty of space here now when i buy my school bus and make it into an rv i'll be able to park it underneath here so this has been nice. I was actually kind of the last few days being, thinking to myself, do I, did we really need to buy this? Is this more than we needed? Is, you know, was it a great purchase? But then it started raining and being able to get the kids from the door to here and then being able to take our time to get in and not have to worry about raining in the car and unloading groceries while we're getting poured on is really nice. And I know this summer when it's 85 degrees out or even 80 degrees out this thing would turn into an oven so having it be in the shade is going to be so nice and next winter not having to shovel off the car is going to be awesome as well so i got this one from a gentleman on facebook marketplace the shelter the the structure is actually built by a company called reliable metal buildings they're out of ohio and i'm actually going to talk to them and see about becoming a rep for them um, so we'll see how that goes. But if you have any questions about my ginormous carport, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. God bless you and your family as he has so richly blessed ours. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Also, here's what I want to do. I want to put an eye bolt there and an eye bolt here and hang a hammock right across here. What do you guys think? Would it work? Be pretty sweet, wouldn't it?